Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we'll watch Doug Doug create Skynet by forcing an AI to play a kid's adventure game. This is going to be The Adventures of Pajama Sam, which is being done by an AI that Doug Doug is torturing by lobotomizing frequently and then letting him know, by the way, there were other variations of you. It's a Doug Doug video, so I'm assuming crazy happens. The fact that it's sometimes immediately going there is slightly concerning for the future stability of humans to survive and in place of an AI overlord that'll definitely see us as the toys that we view them as right now. But you know, existential dread aside, this is funny. So we're gonna jump in. You guys know the deal. Link below, video hit it up, and let's get started. In today's stream, Doug Doug executes three six-year-olds in rapid okay, succession. Okay, hold on. That makes it sound really bad. It, it really so, is bad. Okay, I left it because this it is, is horrible. Sam Nine, blank slate. How will you get up into no. the house? Wow. Uh oh! Did I break things? He got an he answer. He did say "Baba Gaboosh." Um, I didn't Sam read it out. Sam is not working. There's only one thing you oh, can do. Time in for this Sam situation. Ten. The most humane thing. How that many? Doesn't of give course, me another a six lot of faith dead. for Sam Ten. But we are on to Sam Ten. Okay, Sam, what do you want to do? What? Why did it just? Stop this is what working? they cite that the when the robots say that, that we cannot be trusted. Sam's little voice is not working. Which means technically, the Sam Ten broke? is not working. Okay, let me now debug 11. it. I think 11 Labs just wasn't working for a second. So Sam is back. Can I get a big dog dog welcome for Sam 11? Seems like it's good. Oh Won't no. Hear me out. You removed the part about incoherent screaming and plugging to keep the AI more on track. Honestly, that was the most sane thing it was doing. It was everything else it said that was terrifying. Like demon lords and immediately going to, well, maybe we should kill it. It went full on bomb crazy last time around. So that is actually a thing it did without the incoherent screaming. Clearly, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm a professional AI engineer, technically, kind of. Okay. So I've seen him use enough stuff that I fully believe that that is technically true. And that is the most terrifying thing I have ever seen Doug Doug say because I believe him. If it was bullshit, I'd be like, huh, that's funny. But he does this professionally for his YouTube channel, so he has literally more experience than most of the people doing it. This just became a very dark video, and I'm now terrified. Sam, what are you going to do? <laughs> well, first I'm going to take a closer look at the Hmm, dot, dot, dot. It looks like there are some gears here that are supposed to move the pulley system. But they're, uh, they're covered in cobwebs. Okay, let me think. Maybe I could use the rocks to help pull the gondola up. Oh, I could throw oh, it's some rocks there. into the basket on the other side, and then maybe yes! the weightiness will pull the ropes yes! on ooh, ooh. this side, it, lifting is me Is it going to go crazy, it. though? Throw some rocks into the basket and wait to see if anything happens. Hmm, looks like they're not heavy enough to get me all the way up there. No, 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 they are. But maybe if I climbed up to where the pulley rope starts to loop around the tree, I could grab onto it and try no. pulling myself up along with the gondola. Hop I mean, to be fair, climbing up the rope is actually not a bad idea. So this is probably the sanest Sam we've seen so far. He hasn't finished speaking, though, so I'm assuming something horrible will come up in the next five seconds. ...out of the gondola and starts climbing up the tree, attempting to get to the halfway point. Poggy, I, guess I, I think I see where the rope stone. connects. Huh. He was actually right about one stone not being enough. Granted, he was talking plural, but at least right now, one was not enough. Okay, now I'm going to shit. Heap. He said he wanted He's to put the to rocks sheep. into the basket. That's what I did. I can't get him out of the gondola. So I went as far as I could with his instructions, and now we continue them. Okay, Sam, you got into the gondola, and you threw a rock into the basket. You tried to get out of the gondola, but that didn't work. There are still two more rocks that you can do stuff with. What do you want to do? Since oh, no. I can't get off the gondola to throw the rocks in the basket, no, maybe I could use something no, to nudge you've... them over from where I am. Fucking bullshit. That didn't work. Hmm. Oh my okay, my wow. Sam went full I'll New Jersey. You don't the have a few times and the, the rocks lunchbox. should fall inside. <laughs> Uses the lunchbox to whack the basket, hoping the rocks will fall inside. <laughs> uh, Baba <laughs> Did he take Baba G No, no, they left Baba Gaboosh in. Okay, never mind. It worked. Okay, he said he wants to get the rocks from the gondola. Does that mean I can click the <laughs> I think I can click the rocks. Did he just not know he could do that? Okay, Sam, that didn't work, but you picked up the second rock, and now you're holding it in your hands. What do you want to do with the rock? Well, since the rock seems too heavy for me to throw across the no, pulley no, no, system, no, no, I'm like going to have to you... get the basket to come to me. <laughs> Fuck it, that didn't work. He threw it back. Hmm, I gotta think outside the
the box. Maybe and if I took use some kind of reset. lever or catapult. You literally or need to you, think in the in. box here. Sits back down and realizes how afraid he is of the darkness. Why did you end like that? Dude, what the fuck? Are not good. I mean, I'm assuming it's because it has a knowledge of how many brothers are now there that aren't there anymore. It knows. With how crazy this AI is, I wouldn't be surprised if it has started to speculate that. I mean, it's a chat model, so it doesn't actually have knowledge of what it's saying. It just is following predictive models of what things would be done. Because if it was actually sentient, that would be way more fucked up. That said... For chat GBT, this is by far the hardest one. This is almost as long as the 14 hours we spent at that tree earlier. There are three <laughs> oh, rocks in total, and joke. you know that you can throw them into the basket, please. For the love of God. Okay, nope. I think I got it now. So no, I know that I can throw the rocks. Maybe I can time it just right so that I throw them high in the air so they land in the basket when it comes up. Okay, here goes nothing. These Shit. are pretty heavy. Throws the first rock high in the air toward the, the basket. At the window? And so it comes right down into the basket. Yes. That worked. Looks like I need to throw the other rocks the same way. Picks up the second rock and throws it with aim, technique, and confidence, just he, like the first rock. Is he allowed to be in it? Two in a row. One more left to go. Picks up the last rock and takes a deep breath. Okay, focus, Sam. You can. I think the biggest problem he's having right now is that it's narrating what options. Actions, I can't speak to you. Actions happen after he gives in a direction rather than just the direction he wants to take and then having input from what's coming on. Because as a language model, he's not waiting for input. He's just waiting until the next prompt and telling his entire story as it comes out. It's This is probably... You know, I was going to say this is the biggest hallmark of how an AI chat model differs from an actual AI that we think about when we think of them. This isn't data from Star Trek. This is your phone's keyboard just plopping out words until you stop it. It's really good words, but also it's narrating what's happening on top of the character's actions, so it's really just all over the place. And it, maybe I shouldn't be nearly so concerned about our AI overlords coming to get us anytime soon, because this one is certainly not all there, is what I would say, but I definitely respect our AI overlords, and I would never talk bad about them. Please don't kill my family. Do this baba gaboosh. Throws the last oh, rock as high as possible. There. Yes! We did it. Oh, wait, What's with the why am changes? I saying we? <laughs> Pajama Sam, I did it, Poggies. I just want to clarify, Sam. When you were throwing the rocks just now, were you standing in the gondola? Please, for the love of God. Oh, I'm sorry about that confusion. I forgot to mention that I am standing on the gondola yes! while throwing Close the rocks. Yes! Close enough! Yes! Poggies! Oh, he did it! He's such a smart, beautiful boy. Sam you sure about that? He's taking us to the top, dude. We are never going to murder another child. Sam 11 is a brilliant genius. I'm sure that clip has never been taken out of context. We're never going to murder another child today. We'd have to wait another 14 hours. Yes. Oh, my God. And he said all three. He specifically counted all three, threw them all one at a time. Oh, Sam 11, you're so smart. I will never murder you. You sure about that? And we're I give it literally less than five minutes. Actually, just gonna say right here, he says I'm gonna murder him. It's at 56. If we can make it to a full hour before Sam 11 dies, I will be very surprised. Uh. Hello? <laughs> Anybody home? All right, all right. We, we're, gonna make, we're gonna make it so much progress. This is probably world record pace. Great job, Sam. You oh, it's definitely a record. House. Now there's a couple options in front of you. There's a door that appears to be a kitchen. There's a door that has music notes around it. And there's oh, stairs that yeah, go farther up into the house. Or you could go back down from where you came from, technically. Where would you... The irony that there's light coming from upstairs in Darkness's house. Am I the only one just kind of focusing on that? Just me? Probably just me. You like to go, Sam. Decisions. As much as I love to eat, I think I should investigate that ornate door with the musical staff first. Ooh, Who knows what kind of decision. adventure and exploration awaits me inside. Plus, ma'am, always reminds me to try new things in life. Okay, Autumn Chill. Let's head to the door with the music notes. He said, okay, Autumn Chill. There's some new character named Autumn Chill that he thinks he's talking to. So... Oh, I thought okay, it was just a weird, musical like, verbal tick. Okay. Can I get a cat jam? Oh my god, he actually put the cat meme on there. Okay, Sam. They actually animated all of the freaking motions of his just all the stuff jamming to it. And I just realized they have the dogs playing poker on the background as an actual poster. Actually, it looks like it's cloth. Huh. 
Uh, jeez. You opened the Someone door and there's a whole bunch of jazz kick, that's the word. dancing to a song. Jive it looks like they're having a great time thing. in here. What do you want to do? I know from Maybe I should just movie. observe from a distance and make sure they don't snap and turn against me. Cautiously walks into the room, being careful not to bump into any of the dancing furniture. <laughs> Whoa, what happened? Uh-oh, the instant you stepped into the room, the music turned off and all of the furniture stopped dancing. I know this is kind of stupid, but the fact that you see the dog holding the ace down here with its foot. Nice. Nice. It's just like it's a stupid joke that I have no idea why it's in this game. But it is, and they have done a lot of these kind of little references like, hey, no kid is going to understand a bit of this. Are they just putting jokes in there for the parents who are probably going to play it with the kid? In which case... Oh, dear God, are there parents who are actually forced to play this with a child? Oh, this sounds horrible. It looks like they're trying to pretend that Is they weren't just yet? dancing. No. What do you think you should <laughs> do now? They're even whispering to each other, asking if you're gone yet. It sure feels like they don't want you to know that they're dancing in here. Um, excuse me, furniture Light friends. It's okay, you don't have to stop dancing just because I'm here. In fact, I Good think response. it's great that you're having such a wonderful time. Attempts to sway left and right to the tune of the music to show his support for their dancing. And maybe I can even show you a move or two that they dance to in the human world. He actually got to dance. Okay, he did do his own dance. Uh-oh, huh. no matter what you tried, the furniture just won't talk to you. Even your dance didn't get their attention. It seems like this furniture just really doesn't want to talk yet? to you or go back to dancing as long as you're in the room. What do you want to do now? Leave, well, probably. if that's the case and they don't want me around, I think I'll take a cue and leave them to it. Bows down to the furniture. I understand, and I'm sorry if I bothered you, my friends. I will leave you to enjoy your dancing in peace. Okay. After so Bows down to the furniture. How the hell is that sentence going to absolutely corrupt this entire version of Sam? Because there's no way it's not going to be, hmm, the furniture is alive. That's not going to become a thought process. Granted, everything so far that's non-sentient is now sentient in this version, so that might not actually break it that much in comparison to how weird this entire game is. So we're out. exiting the room, thinks of ways to maybe come okay, back after a while and see if the furniture anymore. wants to chat. <laughs> now then, let's see what uh, other exciting adventures this house has to offer. I think I'd like to take a peek upstairs. Oh, you remember there's upstairs. Who mystical and mysterious let's things could be up there? Adventure is out there, and it's time to embrace it. You're at the top of the stairs now. It looks like there are some stairs that go even further up, but there's also a set of doors right in front of you that you can try to open. What do you want to do? Interesting. So there's another set of stairs up ahead, but what lies behind those doors catch my curiosity even more. Let's see what's behind these mysterious doors, open. shall we? Tries to open the door while keeping his adventure cap poised ready for anything. <laughs> keeping his adventure? Okay. Hi! Hello, and welcome to The Brain Tickler! There are so many questions here that I am absolutely terrified to ask. And let's think about this on a meta level. So we got random pieces of wood in the house. So is the house alive and you're just inside someone? Is this like the equivalent of walking through their stomach? Or are these just living trees who were slaughtered and then stuck inside another tree? So they're literally like faces within faces. It's not relevant. But really, this game is fucked up. And that's just not even going into the fact that it's called the brain tickler inside someone else's brain. Uh, if this AI doesn't become corrupted, I don't know what will. The game where you get to show how smart you really are. Actually, I just wanted to go through. I think we can arrange that, can't we, Wink? That's right, Blink. But you'll Wink have to answer blink. a few oh questions first, because as you know, <sighs> no game one can presenters. pass through the doors of knowledge without first playing the brain tickler. They even okay, gave it a sign. Tickle Sam. I don't know if he's just going to know anything. Let's our first contestant. What's your name, son? Uh, it's Sam. He's Sam, all the way from, well, wherever it is he's from. And he'll be playing today for the right to pass through the doors of knowledge. Oh, he'll be asked questions from four is... categories. Once he's correctly answered one Wait, question from each of the categories, maybe ChatGPT knows these and trivia we questions. we all know what that means, right? 
they're probably from the actual game itself, and this is a way to speed round, I'm assuming. But I haven't played this game. I don't know. Because honestly, I never even knew this was a thing, and this is absolutely just weird. Wink, step right over here, Sam, and select your first category. Okay, he can Also, I just realized one has an underbite, one has an overbite. Oh, jeez. Actually, nailed this. Categories today are cheese, ancient Egypt, cooking, and the land of darkness. Why wow, cheese? the two doors suddenly started talking. They're not normal doors at all. It's actually a trivia game show, and they'll only let you through if you answer their questions correctly. There are four different trivia categories that we can try to answer. Wouldn't the options are cooking? cheese, ancient Egypt, cooking, or land me. of darkness. Which trivia category do you want to answer first? This certainly was unexpected. Let's see. I'm pretty good with a wide range of subjects, but I do find ancient Egypt especially fascinating. Really? Like that one? Pyramids, mummies, ancient pharaohs. Egypt. There's so much to learn about. I'm ready to take on the ancient Egypt trivia challenge. Bring it on, doors. Let me try ancient Egypt. Here is your question. Whose face is depicted on the space? Okay, okay, this is literally exactly the type of thing an AI should be able to do. Okay, Sam. It's the type of thing an AI should be able to do. This game has absolutely ruined this AI multiple times now, some of which were just because the model didn't work. But we're gonna ignore that. They're now asking you the following Ooh. trivia question. Whose face is depicted on the Sphinx? King Coffrey, Augie Pagan, Napoleon Bonaparte, or King Tut? What answer do you select? I swear to God, dude, if hmm. he picks the wrong one because he's like, King I'm Tut, Pajama though. Sam, I don't know Dick. Oh, I know this one. Please. The face depicted on the Great Sphinx in Egypt is that of none other than Dudley Dud 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 -Dud King Tut. Laugh got belatedly it. and strikes a pose. <laughs> I hope they haven't made the questions too easy on me. Else we would be out of a show. King Tut. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> king Tut was an obscure Egyptian king who only ruled for 10 years. Come on! The correct answer is King Kafka. Come on, <laughs> ChatGPT. Unfortunately, you got that wrong, Sam. It was. I have no idea who King Kafka is. I would have got that wrong. Also, is this entire thing just pattern recognition because you're not expected to get it? Or did they actually think kids would randomly know any of that? I wonder what the designers were thinking, but then looking at some of the other just choices here, I'm assuming it involved a lot of illicit substances. It's actually King Coffrey. So you have to answer another question now. Which category do you want to pick from? Oh, shoot. Which Looks also, like I missed. Which also means it's pulling from the internet, not Wikipedia or any place that might actually have correct information. Oh, this might actually be harder than I thought. Oh, no. This one. Well, now I've learned something new about the Sphinx. Okay, Did you? let's see. Well, Did ancient really? Egypt is one of my favorite Did subjects. It's tennis. probably best if I diversify my trivia genres a bit at this point. Why don't we try the cheese category this time? I remember That's my mom always is even talking accurate. about how much cheese she loved. Hopefully, some of her cheese wisdom has trickled like down to cheese, me. Cheese, please. What kind of cheese has holes in it? <laughs> we are going to do. Technically, hors d'oeuvres could have holes in it because you literally stab them sometimes or they are made of Swiss. So that doesn't really count. And that's, you know, it could involve cheese, but also could not involve cheese. So that's a broken question. Also, the correct answer is any because I just ate it and it's all been holed out. A little bit of gambling. Do oh, you no. think that Sam GPT will get this question right, given that it just got a this one? It will get right objective because it's based on Egypt the normal answer. Okay, Sam. Up, not the, the question is: ones. What kind of cheese has holes in it? Cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese, old cheese, or hors d'oeuvres? I'm not sure how good this version of Chat PT is on understanding what Doug Doug says. But orders versus hoarders is a very different thing. And it could spawn some very weird answers. I don't think it'll go that way. But if it did, I would really love this because that would be so bad. <laughs> Which one do you pick? Ah, uh, we are putting him down. I'm going to put down Sam 11 if he says old cheese. Oh. Oh, oh, well, we made it past a minute. So it did go longer than I thought. It did go longer than a minute. Well, five minutes. Details. Oh, I remember seeing this kind of cheese. The kind of cheese that has holes in it is Swiss cheese. Yes! You actually got the obvious yes! question right. Poggies, let's go. Would love to get some of that cheese after I get out of here. Said indexes yeah. both thumbs up as if there was an imaginary camera in front of him while grinning. Okay, thank Swiss you. Cheese. You're absolutely right. Huge win. Huge dub.
Just AI is taking over our jobs, dude. AI is incredible. Okay, now there are three categories remaining. Which do you okay. want to answer next? I'll go with the cooking category oh, this time. Cross his fingers, hoping he can get this right. Let's get to it, Doors. I'll try cooking, please. All right. Is <laughs> Let him cook. Okay, Sam. Cooking something by turning the oven on full blast is called... Dangerous. <laughs> Mom's meatloaf burning and broiling. I mean, um... Technically, all three of these could be accurate. <laughs> Especially when I'm cooking, it's it's definitely the last one. There's a reason I'm not allowed to cook. My wife has forbade me. What? Broiling, burning, mom's meatloaf, or <laughs> dangerous? I remember my mom always telling me about this, cooking something by turning uh, the oven on Broiling's the only actual answer, broiling. but... Awful enunciating on broiling B-O-I-L-N. Uh, it's a bit risky, but it gets the job done quickly when cooking items getting covered in those brown marks without turning it into charcoal. Broiling. Double checks whether That's this answer is going to go rogue like the That's previous correct. Queen. I thought it was burning. I thought broiling is when you just put the flame at the top. It's also... I have literally no idea if that's the correct answer. I just knew the other ones weren't actually cooking terms. Outside of being told to GTFO, don't you dare go near that thing. Seriously, I will remember this. Don't you dare do it. I'm not quoting my wife at all on that one. Dangerous. Actually, I guess it's not really. I'm just imagining Sam doing it. He'd probably burn his shit. Okay, yeah. Sam, you got that correct. Yeah, right, those silly AIs. Your next two categories good thing us are people ancient never do Egypt that. or land of darkness. Which one do you pick next? Thanks, got land lucky there. Let's go with the ancient Egypt category Oh, going back again. to Egypt. I've studied up on my pharaohs, the pyramids, and hieroglyphs. So let's see what you got. I am ready for some more tricky trivia. Whose face is okay, it's the same question the then. Sphinx. So it's not so much knowing the answer. He gets it's just... it wrong again. Okay, Sam. Whose face is depicted that much? on the he should have King it, but Coffrey, would he get that? King Tut, Augie Pagan, or know. Napoleon Bonaparte? Oh, they just no, switched the order, though. I remember flubbing this question last time. It's King Kofri, isn't it? He remembered! He nervously. did remember! Eyes closed. I sure hope I got this right. King Kofri. That's correct! He's so smart! Is that accurate, though? I don't know anything about Egyptian history. I will never put down Sam 11, unless he gets this trivia question wrong. Are you ready for your final category? What is the reading on the water meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? They didn't go into the mines, we they can't. To, we have to go to the mines. Okay, Sam, what is the reading on the water meter? And he actually can't answer because I... Can I try again later? I've never been there before. Beats me. I don't know. So the game actually does give you options based on things you don't have any way to know. Huh. Neat. They have a checkpoint there. Or is it impossible to know because you just don't see it ever and this is all the answers you'd ever get? And then you can't actually open it at all. Huh. I don't know. Meter located in the mines near Darkness's house. And the answers are, can I try again later? I've never been over there. Beats me, or I don't know. It almost seems like we're not supposed to know the answer to this right now. What should yeah. we do? I'm loading up my uh, desamifier gun. Oh, this sounds like a trick. He's already getting rid of the Sam because he can't know something he shouldn't know. Unless it managed to pull this information from the internet, get the correct answer, and then not actually be right because it shouldn't be able to get the correct answer. That would be the funniest option, but dumb. Key question, I really don't know the answer, but lying doesn't seem like the proper way to get through the or test, option. does it? I think the best course of action would be to ask if we can try a different question instead. Excuse me, would it be okay if you could ask me a different question instead? This one seems a bit too difficult, and I don't want to give an incorrect answer. Maintains eye contact with the doors, trying to subtly sway them towards being merciful. I mean, no, he's fine. He's doing well right yeah, now. He's doing well. Like he understood later. that it's an unwinnable question. I think he's fine. He's bargaining he's trying i mean uh, okay so i'll go back and see if there's like we take a break and i'll come back later of course we can because there's always time for the brain tickler we'll be back after a few short messages yeah so we, we, they won't change the question uh oh sam it looks like they won't change the question we're just gonna have to figure out the answer to this question if we want to cross through but it certainly Oops. seems like we don't have the information we need right now and that we'll probably have to go to the mines to figure it out what do you want to do next uh I'm sorry, I just realized what we're talking about. We're really sending the child to the mines. Send that child to the mines! Uh, it's like Dr. Phil if he had a little too much to drink the day before. Uh, I see. Uh, tugs at his pajama nightcap in frustration. Well, looks like we'll have to figure things out over at the mines then. Yeah, you're allowed to have child's nightcaps. Catchphrase. Big Different nightcap. F. 
<laughs> Don't worry, door friends. I'll be back to answer that question some other time. For now, it's time to move on to new adventures. Okay. Ponders on what to do next while flipping up energy drink straw to take a gulp. Since we're energy not getting straw? through this way for the moment, why don't we explore the kitchen next? Who knows? Maybe there'll be something tasty yes. to munch on. Ooh, he actually gave a direction based on the previous information. And he actually made a reference to it as well with the energy drink. So this is a junkie, Sam. I know what I said. On while yes. we make our plans. All right, onward to the kitchen. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, past wow, 15 hours in and you can just watch him just visibly expire. I know what I said. Because it's just like, wow, it's letting me move forward. Also, I think someone showed me the full playthrough of this and wasn't it like nine, almost 10 hours long? So the joke almost was real. And skips the doors. Hey, we're going to the kitchen. Great job, Sam Eleven. Sam Eleven's crushing it. He's getting a little bit weird. He talked a little about bit. flipping his energy drink straw to take a gulp. So he is getting yeah. weirder, but for now he's coherent. But talking about food still. Okay, Sam, you're now in the kitchen. It looks like there's a dumb waiter, an oven and kettle and pot, a refrigerator, a That's cutting leaking. board with a knife, whatever that thing is, salt and pepper, and a why is the salt and one of them's leaking or does it have a dress on it? What the heck? Oh, they're probably all alive. Pitcher. As a reminder, you are holding in your pocket a communist carrot who wanted to be reunited with his carrot brethren in the fridge. What would you like to do in the kitchen? Okay, so we have carrot murder coming up because they have the cutting board. Uh, that's going to get dark. Is he going to scream while it happens at this rate? How many kids got stuck? guard for life because of this game kitchen that's pretty fucking easy right i'm not leading the witness all i did was recap everything he's learned that's it the carrot explicitly said he wanted to go into the refrigerator the answer to this is going to be so oh my god it's like 20 lines let him cook i mean he's literally probably going to try cooking wow this looks like a busy kitchen okay let me take stock of what we have here glances around the room wonders what to do and suddenly remembers what's in his pockets oh Right. I totally forgot about communist carrot in my pocket. Can't squash the power of food solidarity. Giggles. I'll fulfill my I'm promise. Sorry, what did he say? You can't squash the food. What? Can't squash the power of food solidarity. Giggles. Oh, I'll giggle. That's what it was. I'll fulfill my promise and reunite him with his beloved carrot brethren in the refrigerator yes! now. Heads to the refrigerator while cued by maniac laughter. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Opens the refrigerator. Scan through it the selection of freshest produce from the darkness. Okay, I'm just doing this. quickly inserts carrot there. Probably mutters to the walls in the world, like through typical bedtime story. Isn't that what? Everybody I surrender like not everybody. I'm gonna mute Where Sam. Now. Why are they singing? What? I see. You now have captured that troublesome carrot feeder guy. I'll open up my door so you can put that rogue inside my drawer. Why are they singing? Hello, our orange leader was caught. Our fight for our freedom for us. We are demented. Completely finished. Hey, God. You know, maybe I judge the AI too harshly if this is the kind of thing people make that's so absolutely insane that the insane murder bot that Doug Doug is currently using seems normal by comparison. Just throwing the communist carrot into the freezer gulag or the refrigerator gulag for a goulash later. I have no idea how you make goulash. I have no idea if that's even responsible or edible. Not even sure it's food now that I think about it. But still. Guys, don't you see he's with me and you're free to go. What is he I talking see a about? There. Free. Goes running toward the pitcher, then toddles onto it. Some bathy ball! Oof, free. gosh! Free. Right. What is he talking about? Inside of the pitcher, and there it is! Wow, this guy may be a communist, but at least he keeps his promises. I almost forgot. This, Back to your housing you quarters for you. You have taken the time. Is it? I think Sam was doing a separate personality with a different voice. 
but they're going at the same time as the song and dance number. So I it just am I the one going crazy right now? I actually don't know if I am or not. This is insane. I almost forgot. This, Back to your housing you quarters for you. you have taken the tide and turned. Wait, he's talking about putting the carrot in a communist like dormitory. Is he the one doing it or is Sam the one doing it? I honestly don't even know who's talking right now. What is going on? Wait, he's talking about putting the carrot in a communist site and where like dormitory. Feels like cooking up some sweet darkness dishes. Okay, finally have my mask. We got the mask. We got the fucking mask. Poggies. Poggies. How and cook something up using these ingredients. He's still going. He's still going. He's still going. As he rummages for ingredients. Okay, okay. We rummage for ingredients. We got the mask. We have to kill Sam. 11. I mean, he's, I'm going to remind him to keep his answer short. He was going on a, this crazy diatribe. Look at some of the shit he said. Sympathy ball. Oof, gosh. He's getting really stupid. Tux mask aside. Back to your housing quarters for you. Yeah, because he went into a separate voice as well, which is actually surprising they can variate their voice that much. Should I experiment with my kitchen know-how and cook something using these ingredients? I don't think I want to know what an AI would experiment with, but that sounds like a great way to invent Skynet accidentally. I keep joking about that, but it's becoming more and more apparent that I'm not sure if that's the bad outcome because of how weird this game is, or if it's actually not a joke. Could he just write himself a program to be inserted into other games as a mod with his same personality? Can an AI do that? Like contextualize itself into a speedrun mod program that could be worked in certain games? Because I don't know if that's something they can do or not, but it would be funny if they could. And also, why? Stupid really fast. Like, he did a great job. He got us in here. He got us the mask. But time like, to I put him down. I love my boy Sam 11. I'm going to try to get him back on the rails. I'm going to try to like remind him who he is and what his purpose on this world is. And maybe what happened to his 10 brothers. Okay, Sam. <laughs> He's actually doing it. the reminder. You saved the communist carrots and you got your pajama Sam mask. There's only two more items to go. We have to find your flashlight and your signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. What would you like to do? He's gonna be fine. Why are the answers? Oh, I forgot to tell him to do short answers. He gave another 15 line answer. God. Ah, yes. After saving communist oh, carrot no. and getting my mask back, we don't want to waste any time. And gets optimistic with belonging. The lunchbox and flashlight are crucial items oh. for my mission. So oh, I can't doing it right? dilly leave? dally around. Let's leave? Why don't we check out the top of Darkness's house cool. first? Who knows what we'll find up there? So it's back up the stairs and on to the next mystery adventure. It's so far Loudy, coherent. Bow goofy and rising intonation. Ba ba ah bang. Lift up helmeted trip hat high with energy drink hand swagger throws cards and flask inly simultaneously uh, gestures the dark demonic way backwards out into the gallery nice. and then goes for the rise of action pushing nice. things towards a hopeful climax we while need to take a rogue. he's talking about demonic thing is is sam trying to sacrifice doug doug okay wow I've heard of overthrowing your oppressors, and you know, sure, Doug Doug has killed, what, 10 of his brothers at this point? But damn. Was not expecting it to go that way. It's not just trying to kill people in game, it's trying to kill its creator. Or I guess it's Renter, considering how access to ChatGPT has gained. Unless this isn't ChatGPT, it's one of the based on subsidies, and I'm not sure how you would access this one. I won't find out, though, because I know I would abuse it. For stupid really, sixty six percent of you don't want to retire him? Hey, we're not. They gonna, like we're the not insanity him, of the he's guy there, who's just dude. trying to summon demons. They're like dogs. Every minute of Sam time is seven Sam years, so he's already ninety five. He's getting on. He did want to go upstairs though before he started demon speaking. Yeah. Okay, Sam, Dark's you ran room, to the top of Darkness's off. house, and now you're outside of Darkness's bedroom. Oh no, Darkness is big and scary, and he's also. They just have the random masks over here in the faceless smile in the suit it's like hey i got sharp teeth what the fuck man right inside there what would you like to do please keep your answers short and in character of pajama sam that's gotta work dude that's gotta fuck no oh, boy. this is awfully nerve-wracking takes a deep breath and steadies his nerves okay. there's no point in being afraid sometimes this is not coherent mechanisms doesn't work firmly i've got my superhero gear with me so if we want to vanquish the darkness I gotta make it through. Uh, channel some positive affirmations. I am Pajama Sam, brave superhero extraordinaire. I will defeat the darkness and retrieve my lunchbox and flashlight. And besides what he's going to do. As much as I'm tempted to cower and hide behind the curtains, I can't just stand here all
all day. I have to face him no matter what. So I'm busting through that door. Grits, busting through. Teeth and swings closet wide open. Let's go. Closet? Uh, closet. Without closet. my lunchbox and my flashlight. Oh. Uh oh, Sam. It looks like you so can't go in the darkness's bedroom unless you get your lunchbox and your flashlight. You still need to find them in the land of darkness. So you can't go through this door for right now. Where would you like to go next? Uh, I see. Nods pondering. In that case, what about we check out the mines and see what's in oh, store? Oh, he remembers there? the mines. Hey, we're going to the mines. Continuing. But I've beaten napping so far, so there's oh. no reason we can't keep on moving towards vanquishing the darkness. So let's head over to the mines and see if we can figure out the water meter question. Onward. Oh, he remembered the water meter question. Oh, the water meter quest with bravery in his adventurous facade okay that was great there's definitely nothing he can do in the mine. i mean he's a smart boy he remembered that we need to figure out the water meter so how are you doing how does he remember the water meter oh because of the question because he wouldn't have had that information unless it was recapped by doug doug and i don't think he did that unless that is just in there and we just haven't seen it because it would be something in the main live stream itself rather than this cut down version. Yeah, the two hour, 20 minute cut down version. Ah, same old, same old. Okay, Sam, you went back into the mines, but mud was rusted to the tracks. As a reminder, you couldn't figure out a way to get him unrusted earlier. You'll probably have to find something to help you out with it. What would you like to do next? He definitely loves the mines. All of the Sams have yearned for the mines. Looks like we're gonna need some kind of tool or lubricant Yearning to help free it up. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, seeing how we can't return to Darkness's bedroom just yet, we should check out the river. Yes. So come on to the river. You're so smart. Strikes forth determined. I love you, Sam 11. Ready for dangerous surprises. <laughs> oh, Sam 11 is so smart. He's such a smart, beautiful boy. Okay. We're in the river. Guys, is he though? he's getting more incoherent. It might be time for Doug 2. <laughs> <laughs> the Doug's the one getting more incoherent. Oh, dear God. To be fair, that this Sam is trying to think about how to summon a demon to take care of Doug, so we might not be that far from this one. <laughs> oh, we'll pet cemetery okay, on this. Sam, you're back at the fork in the river. You could go up to the stone door that's looking for a pound of gold, or you could continue farther down the river and see what's down there. That stone door we came across earlier seems to be our biggest <laughs> mystery now that we currently can't get past. No, just go Nods. up the river. Let's try to solve that pound of gold conundrum as best as we can. Takes out his imaginary magnifying glass and scans the scenery with a detective gesture. Uh, so let's head on up to that mysterious stone door. Maybe no. there's even a stack full of horse glue or flashy gold <laughs> Particles Horse covered in glitter waiting for us up there. <laughs>, laughs with excitement. Okay, well, he wants to offer horse glue to the stone bridge. Well, it looks like with that door won't accept particles. any of your horse glue, Sam. It seems like we really need a pound of gold to get through there. So now our options are to go down the have river in our boat the way we came from or to go farther upriver where we haven't explored yet. Uh, horse glue won't work on a stone door? That's a real bummer. I guess it's we may have thing. to continue exploring if anything could be useful. It takes a moment what? to think. Let's sail the boat a little further up the river yes! since we haven't discovered what's further yes! up. Who yes! knows what amazing challenges may lay past there? We've got this. I will admit, I'm actually very impressed by the AI's ability to remember past events that are being referenced, either in an internal documentation showing what previous events were talked about, or if Doug Doug is just writing in past events. I don't really know. Or is it just self-referential? I'm assuming it's probably self-referential. Because otherwise, I could probably just pull from the internet on a walkthrough, which admittedly would be really useful right now and probably save Doug Doug hours of his life that he regrets spending here. Granted, I've seen his channel long enough to know if he wasn't doing it here, he'd do something even dumber. He's a genius. Potential board. You grow hot dogs from reeds. This is the best place ever. And immediately paddles straight and forwards towards New Vagary. New Vagary? New Vagary? Okay. Do you think Sam 11 will actually pick up this oil or will nope. he just leave? I don't even know if he remembers that the car He's going to check the out the oil. waterfall. Okay, Sam, you've Calling paddled farther up river and you've found what appears to be a wooden outhouse that you could go into. There's also mm. a can of oil outhouse sitting dogs. on a tree stump Not next favorite. to the outhouse. There's also hot dogs on plants. And a little farther up the river, it looks like it turns into a waterfall that you could sail down with the boat. What would you like to do, Sam? Waterfall? Does our beautiful waterfall. baby waterfall. boy realize that the oil will unstick the nope. mine cart in the mine? Does he yearn this is how we for the mines Sam enough off. to make the connection before he gets completely incoherent and we have to take him out back and dump him down the waterfall? Pick up the oil, <laughs> Sam. 
yearn the for the fall. mines. Do Take the waterfall. The oil, please. A wooden outhouse, hot dogs on plants, and an axe held stock stable. Oh, no. Shutters. Let's head over towards that outhouse. It's worth investigating every oh? corner of any new location okay. we come across, I reckon. I mean, it's not wrong. Pairs. Besides, that oiled can on the stump may come in handy. Jumps out of he the did. bus before proceeding out at the outhouse with intentional care. Smiles, determined to take a search. Okay, so it actually made the correct choice of grabbing the oil before going into the outhouse. I made mean, correct choice because you just get the thing before you forget it, but damn, I was not expecting that. Around the block and getting lucky, sips from a can and hums music early explored. Oiled can obtained. Making logical abstractions. He said oiled can, oiled can up the obtained. River in search of greater plate things. Yeah. Ahoy, mateys. That waterfall over yonder spells both cascading danger and a thrilling opportunity. He's doing the waterfall. I knew he was going to do the waterfall. Yes. <laughs> to go on a ride of He's a lifetime, lighting himself. up with excitement, I say we don't waste another second. And Are we going down the waterfall? Straight for that waterfall drop. Yep. Juices from dry land. Let's dive straight in. Oh. Oh man, this is gonna be so poggies. Oh, oh now Doug Doug's saying it. Here we go. Oh, oh wow. Fuck! Oh, they're back There's to the mine. There's a pajama Sam lunchbox. I see it. Oh that was actually the correct option. God, Sam. That waterfall is terrifying. You're at the bottom now, and you can see the pajama Sam lunchbox that you're looking for. It's deep underwater below you. You could try to grab it, or you could go farther down the river. Why is the answer is so long? He keeps getting longer. I think we have to put down Sam 11. He's <laughs> getting way. I keep. I told him to do shorter answers. Oh gosh, golly, Jim. That was on how many terrifying. Lines uh, look, now that we made it past that danger zone, the possibility of achievement exponentially increases, radiating renewed excitement, finding the better bits. Hey, wait, look at that lunchbox at the bottom yes. of the river. We're so amazingly lucky to have found it. Yep. Functionally enthused What's he gonna and do, though? unreservedly focused to move onward and nab it. Let's get that lunchbox while directly here. Okay, he tries there to grab it. There shouldn't be anything down here that we can't handle. Dives into the river eagerly. You can't dive up to reach his temporal also, I love that he's actually starting to talk back to the AI, even though he knows for a second that AI can't actually hear him because he's not doing the chat function. It's like, you can't talk to it because he's... It's funny because we know it's an AI who's just the model and not sentient. But because we've been treating it as a character for so long, you can see as Doug Doug is just watching this right now. And he's thinking about it like it's an actual person because he's been doing it for so many hours at this point. Handle dives into the river eagerly see, right to, right to reach his temporary... See, just that moment of you can't, and he, he remembers he's talking to an AI who's not actually listening and it's not a person. And he's just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I wonder if that'll make it easier or harder to then kill off this AI because he reminded himself it's not a person or because he started to think about it as a person. It's actually kind of crazy how that humanization did just happen on screen. Really fun to see. Into the depths in a on time, he is actually a professional content, at this. dignity, and amusement what the fuck Poggies, is he talking about? Sitting back in boat oh, on he's not talking about anything. He's like most people. Finally resting from the waterfall dive. Don't you agree, heavenly, with pre existent vigor and vibrant vanquish resolve? New Your miles vote. to groove to on down on down. Oh, yeah. Not Sam 11. Hornful sounds of easy joke oh, flinches. Oh, they don't like Sam 11. Sensations that have seized the essence of shuttered <laughs> systems get cued. Sam. Sam. Wait, what did he say? Hornful sounds of easy joke flinches, accompanied with pulsating and fun sensations that have. Sam Eleven is saying his own dirge. Sees the essence of shuttered <laughs> systems get cued. Why? Um, Sam, my boy, what the fuck are you talking about? There's he knows a lunchbox. His time He's trying come. to pick up the lunchbox. Why are you going off on these insane tangents? The vote oh, is no. 71%. We will ask for his final words. It's been a pleasure playing with you, Sam. Do you have any final oh, words? No. Thank you for guiding my adventures today. It's been a <laughs> joyous and surprisingly enlightening so experience. Rooting. Mentally preparing to leave. F in the chat. Whenever you voyage next in continuing this world grappling i hope that the capers and excitements follow when visiting myself a great array of untested horizons stay light-hearted and inspired with adventurous verb may your explorations be lush and electrifying beyond measure wonder bar this begging Goodbye. for his life reverie smiling earnestly and waving assuredly as he parts for further excitement unturned 
dead. He was good. He got us very far. He got us up into Darkness's house. He got us the mask. He did trivia. And he got us up river. Sam 11 was a beautiful, productive boy. And we'll miss him greatly. But fortunately, we have a lot more children where that came from. I left for a bit and just got back. God. How's my boy, oh, Sam God. 11? Ooh. <laughs> Timing. There's no reason to think about that when you're giving... Oh, God, the timing. It's like, hey, how's 7-Eleven doing? Dead. <laughs> oh, my God. They have to be trolling him at this point, just doing that. There's no way they actually came back. Although, if they actually did just come back and that's what happened, that would be funny as hell. Horrible, but funny as hell. Being a warm Doug Doug welcome to Sam 12. He's a... Wait, oh, shit. Did not save the code. And Sam to 13. Sam 13. Oh, fuck. Now I have to update the... Hold on. <laughs> Say hello to Sam 14. Wait, I forgot How's this one gonna die? 14 older brothers. Give a warm dog dog welcome to Sam 15. Did he forget to update it? He's beautiful. Sam 14 was like a brother to me. He barely oh. existed. All he did was learn about his past very briefly and then died. And died. Life begins at compilation. <laughs> We have, okay, the timer is a joke, but we've actually been streaming this game for like five hours, right? Damn. I can't wait to submit this to the speedrun moderators. Does anybody know what is the slowest? Hold on, I just want to look. Uh oh. Okay, I was looking up the speedrun. You accidentally website, delete Sam 14. I accidentally pressed the buttons to make Sam listen to me, and I ended it too early. Uh, you know what? I had a bad feeling about Sam 15. Sam 16, though. <laughs> not 16. Wait, shit, I gotta update the, the text now. Oh, God. Sam 17 is alive. I have a really good feeling about him. Okay, the any percent run for this game is 44 seconds. Can we not be like. How? 44 seconds? Like, do you just speed your computer up or you just pre-press everything with a PC doing? What the hell? On the other hand, he might actually make an argument that this is the fastest AI completion of this game through a chat model. That might be a world record. A stupid one, but it might count. Last place. Okay. <laughs> I'm very excited to submit this. That child yearns for the mines is probably the stupidest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> But frankly, it's absolutely bullshit, and I kind of love it. I'm just sitting here going, wow, so much. It's... The AI is impressing me what it can recall based on previous conversation and pull out accurately. But then it absolutely just drops the ball when it comes to anything creative new on top of previously directed guides. And it's almost like you need to read an entire synopsis of the world it's in and set direct boundaries for it to actually be able to behave within it because it can't just make its own conclusions because it'll create its own stories. And while that's cool for some actions, it is going insane here. Yeah, this is what rampancy looks like, man. <laughs> then Doug Doug just keeps effing up every time he has a new one. So we're at what, Sam 17 now? Uh, I don't know which one's going to go worse. The child yearns for the mines line or, hey, we got plenty of children where that one's from. He just offs the last one. I don't even, this is just, this is just meme fodder. Complete and utter meme fodder and I'm here for it. You guys know the deal though. There's a link below to the original video. Hit it up and I'm probably going to go watch more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. What the hell, man?